It's G for I. We got you. Subscribe to our channel. Hello guys, welcome to RHCSA exam prep by GFRI. On this video, we will be focusing on network file systems, that is mastering the concept of AutoFS. Before we start, please subscribe, like, and share our videos. Please also click on the notification bell so you will be notified each time we drop a new video. Right. The exam requires you to be able to mount and unmount network file systems using NFS and also to configure AutoFS. It doesn't require you to be able to create an NFS server. But if you see my screen, I have an NFS server and a client server. The reason is for you to practice, you need to be able to create an NFS server, share content through the network and access that content using the client system. We will take the scenario of home directories, right? So we will create three users, that is user Dema, user Rita and user Bobby on the client server, but their home directories will be on the NFS server. Then we will facilitate the access of these users home directories on all client servers that they are logged into by doing what? Using the AutoFS service to let them automatically mount their home directories once they log in. So if they are in 10 different servers, they will only have one single location for their home directories. Right, that's fine. Let's get right into it. So for you to be able to Use NFS, of course, you need to install the NFS package. So I do a yum install NFS dash utils. It comes with everything that you need in order to run the NFS service. Yes, install and it's installed, right? So let's create the exported home directories. So if I make a directory, slash e home that is exported home e stands for exported home i cd into that directory i list there's nothing inside so i make three directories that is the home of dema dema rita and bobby If I list, you see the home directories here. Let me do a show mode. Seven, seven, six, right? Let me do it recursively. So I just want them to be able to log in and have permissions. We are not building a, a, an, a complicated or a complex NFS server. So um, slash e home. If I list now, we have read, write, read, write, and read, write, execute. Okay. Let me give it a 777. Just keep everything, all the permissions on the directories just for practice. All right. We have the home directories right here. So let's export slash home. Let me see the back and uh, export slash home so to, in order to export slash home let's go to vi to slash etsy export to slash exe, ex, export etc slash export this is where you will put the content that you want to transfer so we are saying export slash e home slash sorry export slash e home to 10.12.50.0 over 24. I am exporting it on all this subnet. Mind you, yours will be different. You might, your IPs might be 192.1 or 172. I don't know the subnet that you're using, but if you do this and uh, let's give it a read write, use your own IPs, read write, and sync okay 
save. If I do export FS, dash S show. Hmm, shows nothing. Okay, wow. Now let's reload. Let's reload the the export FS table, the NFS table, and uh, do a show. Right, right here we are exporting slash e home to every IP of this range. Right, to this subnet, and these are all the options. System CTL enable dash dash now enable dash dash now this will start and uh, enable it at the same time auto fs sorry mm, nfs dash server so let's open firewall to let clients in so we do a firewall dash cmd dash, dash add dash port equals to sorry let's add a service there are there are multiple ports and uh, if we just add the service it will open all the ports for us nfs dash dash service nfs dash dash permanent i do reload the firewall dash cmd dash dash reload and I can list to see dash dash list dash all. Right here we have our NFS service. We are good. And system CTL status NFS dash service. NFS dash server. Right, NFS is running and we are exporting. We can do an export fs dash s to check make sure we are exporting right and if we cd to slash home if we cd to slash home we list cd to slash e home we list in here you see these are the directories that we are exporting right these are the directories that we are exporting on the client server let's create these three users with no home directories then after creating the nfs service we will modify we'll do a user mode user modify and change their home directories now on the client server let's create user bobby dama and rita with no home directories on the client server we will create them on the client server with no home directories then we will do a user modify to modify and give their home directories the path of their home directories which will be shared by the auto fs service okay so let's first create those users and make sure they are unable to have their home directories when they try to switch to their to switch to login so uh, let me user add user add we said dama user add dama dash m dash capital m for do not specify any home directories for this user dama let's add uh Rita and let's add uh, Bobby so let's switch to demo you see read the error warning cannot change directory to slash home demo there's no file or directory so they do not have home directories right slash home demo all home directories are in slash home but there is no slash home demo so that will be the same for rita let's gain in time rita and it will be same for bobby they do not have home directories right so their home directories are on the nfs server then how do we access their home directories First of all, let's leave them at this state and configure AutoFS, then use user mode to modify and point their new home directories so that when they log in now, they can go to their home directories. 
Looking at our drawing here on the client server, we just need four steps and we are done. Four steps. One, install AutoFS and NFS. AutoFS service will help you to run and configure AutoFS. Then we will create a file in slash etc slash auto.master.d. That is any file that you drop in this dropping directory. The .d tells you that it is a dropping directory. If you drop any file in here, asterisk means any name dot autofs, then that will be read by the autofs service. Then you vi into that file and input this slash ehome. Slash ehome is my choice. You can put whatever name you want. So I am telling the NFS service that whenever you start, whenever you start, create the directory slash ehome under the client server notice as it is green as the client server so under the client server you create slash ehome then you will copy slash etc slash auto dot home you go to slash etc dash slash auto dot home in this directory i will have the configurations of the nfs server anything that is coming from the nfs server will be found in this directory in this file sorry and the file does not exist yet right you're telling it that but the file does not exist now you will vi into slash etsy auto.com notice as they are the same color which is the file that you created that you referenced up here saying in this file now that is where you will put your nfs configuration then when you start the auto fs service the auto fs service will create one it will create slash ehome then it will look at a rule ask slash etsy auto dot home. What do you have as NFS configurations? It will say I have the NFS server in here. We will put the NFS server details. I have this NFS server exporting this amount of directories. You say, okay, I am mounting it. So let's first of all start by installing AutoFS and NFS dash utils yum install auto fs and uh, nfs dash utils right do you want to install it yes install it we've installed it the second step says that we should create a file right in slash auto dot master dot d right here we will put our nfs configuration as we explained so if I cd to slash etc slash auto dot master dot d, I clear my screen, then I do create any file that I want to create. I do create any file that I want to create. It should finish with auto fs. That is the requirement. So I can say touch homes dot auto fs. I clear my screen. Then, if I do ll, you will see my homes.auto. If I cut it, it says it's looking for the NFS configurations in this file. Now, let's see what is in this file. Oops, the file does not exist as we rightly said. So, you have to create that file. So, if I vi to slash etc auto dot home, right? It will, it will create it at the same time. So in here, I say asterisk, everything that is coming from the NFS server, be it Bobby Dama Rita, right? Everything that is coming from the NFS server, do a read write, sync it. You must not put read write sync, but I like putting it. Read write sync, then the IP address of the NFS server. I don't even know the IP address of the NFS server. IP dash A. IP A. This is the IP address of the NFS server 10.12.50.154. Okay. So every content that is coming from 10.12.50.154 from the directory slash ehome and any other thing after that directory mount them so i'm saying that consider everything that is coming after this slash ehome also 
mount everything that is mount everything that is in this directory and right here the unsigned means everything that is inside so that's all we need to do we save and we do a system ctl we start the service enable rajash now auto fs system ctl status auto fs right it's running now if i do a df dash ht let me clear my screen df dash ht we do not see any auto fs service being mounted we do not see any auto fs so i was using this for containers and uh, this one is for containers we don't see any auto fs right here we don't see anything like auto fs here okay let's go back to our scenario let's go back to our scenario we had three users right so if i cut slash etsy password slash etc slash password I pipe and I tail dash four. All right, I I have what the three people we created: Bobby, Rita, and Dama. They are being referenced to their home directory is being referenced as slash home Dama, but that directory does not exist. If you like, you do ls dash ld slash home Dama. It will tell you no such file or directory. That's why if Dema tries to log in, he doesn't have a home directory. So let's use now a user mode. We haven't gone into FS tab or anything. Let's use now user mode to modify these users and give their home directory slash ehome slash what? Their directory right here, which is in the NFS server, Dema. So slash e home slash dema slash e home slash uh, Rita and slash e home slash Bobby, right? So if I cd to slash, no, I don't want to cd because once I cd there, it will create it. Let it create it once the user logs in. So um, let's say user modify user mod dash d slash ehome slash dema dema so here i'm saying i'm modifying the home directory of dema dema should be using now this directory to log in slash ehome dema notice we did not have any error we did not create this file the file has been created by the auto fs if i do a df dash ht let me see all right it's just created but it's not yet mounted we just modified it but uh, the command just modified it but it's not yet mounted okay let's do for uh, rita 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 and uh, let's do the home directory of Bobby, Bobby, Bobby. Great. We've modified your home directories. Now let's ask you to Rita. It's mounting, it's mounting the home directory. The error did not come again. Now you see, we didn't have the error again. Now, if we do uh, PWD, we are in slash e home Rita. Now let's go to the NFS server. Let's cd into slash ehome rita, cd to rita and create a file. In here, I touch, can, can you see me? I read, I list, this is the NFS server and uh, can you see me file is here. So rita is right here logged in. You see, can you see me? If I do a df dash ht, look right here. This is Rita's home directory that has been mounted. Once Rita exits, the home directory on mounts also. 
okay you can make it in such a way that it waits for like 30 seconds if Rita is not active then it unmounts by itself so let's see the let's ask you to other users since I didn't give them passwords I'll just use root to ask you to dash Bobby no error if you do a df dash ht again if you do pwd bobby is in in his home directory that is being served by the nfs server now if i do a df dash ht you see bobby is mounted also that that's what the and percent sign the unsigned the unsigned that we use is doing right notice it's not like slash home slash rita slash this no it's slash home rita slash home bobby so if i ask you back i exit and i ask you to slash home as you dash uh who was the last this is bobby rita and demo right demo Right, Dema is there. If I do a df dash ht, Dema also is there. All the home directories are there. I exit, and that is it for AutoFS. That's all. So it's literally three steps. One, install AutoFS. Two, go to slash etsy auto.master.d. We didn't need to create the NFS server. As I said in the beginning, we're creating it because we needed to practice. If I was given a question to do something related to this what I'll do is just three steps very easy one I will go to slash out install auto FS two I'll go to the dropping directory of auto FS which is auto dot master dot D and create any file of my choice it can even be my name but it should finish with dot auto FS I go inside and I say create directory maybe it's slash export any name of the directory then go to this file I reference this file go to this file and grab the contents of the NFS server then the file does not exist I create the file then I input the information of the NFS server start and enable AutoFS and that's all it's it's like two minutes just the explanation is a little bit long all right guys like and subscribe we will be treating other subjects drop any topic that you want us to to treat or any thing that disturbs you with our CSA, then we will trash it waiting for you on the comments and uh, we will work with you thanks subscribe click on the notification bell and ciao